Hey guys, how's it going? Kapan here. Today I want to talk about the card that's, uh, you know, been shunned a little bit, it's been misunderstood a little bit. It is the Explorer's Hat, of course. Now, this card, um, I initially tried to see how good it is by putting it in Hunter decks and Constructed, and as you guys have probably guessed, there is not much room in the current Constructed meta for fun and weird iterations of classes that aren't particularly strong. So most of these trials are complete failures, and it mostly has to do with the fact that the environment is not very accepting of this type of themed deck that would allow someone to play Explorer's Hat in a Hunter deck. So, you know, it's very difficult to really understand the card, and, you know, over, over the months since League of Explorers has been launched, uh, I've had a few interactions with the card, though it's mostly been through Mage and Spellslinger, and a few few other methods of acquiring the card, but in these scenarios, in a more controlled environment, in arena where things are a little bit slower paced, where value can make a big difference, I have had some incredible experiences with the Explorer's Hat. Originally, Explorer's Hat was thought to be just complete garbage, and then, uh, I don't remember who it was, but a user mentioned Explorer's Hat could be used to basically enhance the hunter hero power instead of using two mana to do two damage to face that doesn't really affect the board in any way, you could play a new Explorer's Hat every single turn, which is basically in line with the other hero powers in the game. So that is a very interesting concept, and that is kind of how it works. Uh, I feel that's an extremely optimistic view of things. Uh, from my experience, even when you're really trying to get your maximum mileage out of Explorer's Hat, often the minion that you play it on is one that you will rather initiate a favorable trade. So what tends to happen is Explorer's Hat is a card that you can play every other turn, but still it has a pretty good impact on the game, more so than you might imagine. And often in the early stages of the game, pumping a creature by plus one plus one gives you that better trade and having the option to use the card a little bit later does make it significantly good. So it is a good card. Um, Hunter is in a pretty bad spot in Arena. In Arena, you usually want to play more aggressive Hunters, so it doesn't really fit in Arena either. But I do imagine that a lot of doors will be open once the new expansion is released in Hearthstone. That will kind of shift things in a big way. And from what I feel, they're trying to slow down the game a little bit more. I kind of think that because of what we've seen in League of Explorers, what we've seen in the Grand Tournaments. You know, they're trying to slow down the game. In the first few expansions in, in GVG and Nax, they wanted to speed up the game. So it's it's a bit of it's a bit of a shift, and I feel with that shift we might see this type of hunter that could include Explorer's hat finally, you know, actually materialize and work. For now though. Probably the most education you're going to get out of these clips I'm going to show you is how you use the card when you just happen to get it through one of the crazy random moments that, you know, produce cards in Hearthstone. And on that note, it's kind of cool to have cards like Explorer's Hat. It's a card that even though you'll never willingly put it in your deck in, in most cases, you'll never really choose to put this card or to use this card. It's an option. It's something that exists. So when you randomly run into it, it creates some amazing moments. And that is absolutely the best part of Hearthstone. So today, I want to show you guys exactly that. So you can appreciate the card in all of its unusual and random glory and see how cool Hearthstone can be at times. So I hope you guys enjoy the clips. And maybe, you know, just enough time will pass and Explorer's Hat might be usable in a different environment in the future. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys. He watched, like, all the Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes, and I try to watch one, and I'm like, dude, there's got to be something better that we could be doing right now. Again, I only watched, like, you know, half an episode here, half an episode there. But the, uh, the TLDW is... Oh, what does this card do? Oh, I don't know. Hmm, I wonder how I'll battle that. And then his hand is over the deck for like 10 minutes. And then he draws the card. It's like, whoa, this card is useless. But wait, it's actually amazing because it does like this and that that it doesn't supposed to. And we just found it out right now. And then, oh, get wrecked. Oh, you're, you're the best. You're the best at Yu-Gi-Oh. That's basically the show from what I remember. 
Did I do it justice? Glory to the Sindora. Oh, how many mechs do we have? Like one, right? The heal bot probably should play the blast mage. Restaurant of the Moon? No, I haven't been there. Damn, that sucks. Oh, sweet. Got my Senjin Jr. on the board now. I'm in bad shape, though. Oh, he doesn't have removal for that? That's good. Eh, not too happy about that, actually. Oh my god. Don't draw, don't. Yeah, I can't initiate the attack successfully, so I just have to play the biggest minion I can play. Like, if I initiate that attack, I can only play a flame juggler. So he pings that, and then he plays a four drop, right? Oh, look, that's exactly what's gonna happen, actually. Pretty weak sauce there. Third Kraken coming. Unfortunately, that might be a reality. I'm pretty behind right now, but we'll see. Maybe the Krakens will do some, something significant. Well, hopefully they will. Dupe the Kraken. You mean dupe a sheep, because it's going to get sheep. Alright, let's see the dice roll. Where are we at with this dice roll? Oh, that's pretty good. I think I'll probably kill the five. It's getting hot in here. Knowledge is power, and I know a lot. Yeah, well, we have a lot of value, right? So we can still do some stuff here. Kind of losing on tempo pretty badly, and the Krakens are not very flexible, so some pretty nasty shit could happen. And that sucks. Oh, that does not suck. So, here's where you're wrong. Come forth, third Kraken. Yeah. The worst part is if he flame strikes here. Okay, good. We have we have a decent Kraken now. Got the flame wicker in my sights. Well, whatever play he has here, it's marginal, so that's important to realize. Hmm. Oh my god, it's not even a good Kraken turn. So, here's where you're wrong. We could double tap on that one, but it's pretty weak. I think I'm gonna do this instead. Wrong position. Oh, you think my direwolf dog is gonna survive this turn? Uh, I can assure you it will not. The, the positioning is irrelevant. The positioning is the doggy is beside the taunt. Positioning's done. No need for further positioning. Does he have a strike here? He does. Let's get the duplicate up. I don't want to crake in a 2-1 anyway, so... Oh, come on! Really? Really? I had to play the duplicate and then you polymorph. I'm gonna lose his jabs, too. Oh, no, okay. Told you guys, duplicate's not gonna do fucking anything. What you want? <laughs> Should I crank in that one or panda? I want a panda. I'll put it on your tab. It's a little bit greedy, but he has three cards, and I imagine a few of those are spells. Fucking A. 
Uh. Yeah, the four damage is not really gonna mean anything ever. Something needs tinkering. Dead or alive. He's gonna take my conjure. Got a hat. Oh, I guess he has a flame strike then. Have a hat. We went from three Krakens to th three Krakens, and one of them is a Kraken with a hat. Look at that. God. So fucking lucky. <sighs> Watch him get like Polymorph now. Oh, he's got Fireball. order. Well, I wanted to play around Mirror Entity. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. This is so fucking blatant, dude. Yeah, kill the 2-2. Two -two. Easy. Easy play. Fucking shredder. Coming through. It's clobbering Get in there and fight, maggot. Deny all my minions. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, with this, we'll get a face attack in. Or I won't. That's a pretty disgusting draw right there. I think I fucking lose. I think there's no way in fucking hell this guy would have won without sniping. We have many secrets. Okay, come on, Kraken. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay. Yeah, there's only a few cards left, and I got an Explorer's Hat, which is pretty nice. in the deck. This explorer's hat has carried at least. 
If he has a giant minion, I can't win this game. Uh, we'll see. Lame Lance on a leper now. Wow. Okay. This Yeti's doing work right now. So if we get the Flame Waker, we might actually threaten lethal next turn. I don't think that's necessary though. I'm almost out of cards. Okay, I lose the fireball. Wow. I think I win. Yeah, one HP. Pat! Pat, boys! <laughs> Holy shit, that was grueling! Uh, I don't think I want to keep that. Don't really want Counterspell because he's on the coin. We have a pretty good hand. Wanted, dead or alive. I'll never tell. Check it, check it. Yeah, I'm quite happy to see a ping here. We got the hat. Infinite value. My eyes are open. What's the point of that? And he healed the three damage that I would just gain back attacking again. I, okay, maybe he has maybe he has two heals. If he has two heals, that was a cool play. I wonder. Funnel cakes. Get your funnel cakes here. No two heals. Oh my god. The value's real. This explorer's hat is insane, actually. What does the hat do? Takes a dump on your opponent's face is what it does. Look at that. You have a minion plus one plus one and death rattle. Add an explorer's hat to your hand. It's time. Ooh. I think I want to save that with dollar and aspirant though. Die. Hat. Knowledge is power, and I. Know a lot. Yeah, the Arcane Blast is really good. I think the hat value is extreme this game. There's no doubt about that. Oh. That's aggressive. You want it? I got it. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you have Flame Strike. It's not a big deal though. Yeah, I think this is a this is a game where Pyroblast is actually very good. I mean, Flame Strike's okay. I just continue winning, and he's gonna die very soon. Happy Feast of Winter but what Vale. What could be really bad here? Like Geddon or something? I, I don't know. Like a Matter Bomber. A Matter Bomber with ridiculous RNG would be really fucking bad. That is true. Flame Lance, sure. I should have spell sling first. Wow. That's not bad. 
he gonna get it? No, he does not get it. We're just trying to push him as low as possible. You want it? I got it. Oh, I guess we won. Why did he concede? I wouldn't necessarily have lethal there. <laughs> 